Hey everybody, this is Natasha, the children's librarian at the Fairfield Cordelia Library. Thank you for joining us today for a story. Today I'm going to share It's a Tiger by David La Rochelle, illustrated by Jeremy Tankard and published by Chronicle Books. We get to look closely at the pictures. There are some hidden things to keep an eye out for. It's a tiger. Are you ready for a story? Me too. We'll start in the jungle, where the tall trees grow and the monkeys swing from vine to vine. Wait a minute. That's not a monkey. That looks like... A tiger! Run! Push aside these vines and we'll hide inside the cave. Duck your head, flap, 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 and watch out for bats. I don't know about you, but these shadows are making me nervous. In fact... One of these shadows looks like a tiger. How did he get in here? Hurry, climb the ladder and we'll make our escape. Ah, sunshine. Doesn't that feel good? Uh-oh, snakes. Hundreds of them. If we're very quiet, we can tiptoe past. Blue snakes, green snakes, even a great big fuzzy snake that looks just like a tiger, run! Yikes, he's gaining on us. Our only chance is to leap for the rope and swing across the canyon. Let go, whoop, we made it. Whew, good thing we landed someplace soft. A bed of flowers, a pile of leaves, a giant orange and black pillow? No, we landed on a tiger. Oh, now we're really in trouble. Quick, climb this rock and slide down the hill. Bumpity bump bump bump. Yes, a boat. Hop on deck and raise the anchor. Full steam ahead, Captain. Safe at last. Say, I've never seen a sea captain with a tail before, have you? You don't think it could be a tiger? Oh, not again. Jump overboard or we'll end up as lunch. Swim, 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 splash, splash, splash. I know you're tired, but don't slow down. Whew, we're in luck. There's an island and a chest. Open the lid. I bet we'll find a tiger, and he wants to eat us. Roar. Wait a minute. He doesn't want to eat us. He was only yawning. Uh, if we scratch his ears and rub his belly, maybe he'll go to sleep. Better yet, let's tell him a story. We'll start in the jungle, where the tall trees grow and the monkeys swing from vine to vine. Wait a minute, that's not a monkey. That looks like a crocodile. And that is the end of It's a Tiger. Thank you for joining me for story today. I hope to see you again soon.